Ever found yourself pondering how the transparent, versatile material known as cellophane is made? A question as clear as the product itself. Cellophane, a thin transparent sheet, plays a silent yet significant role in our daily lives. From food packaging to decorative gift wraps, its uses are as diverse as they are convenient. But what exactly is this material? And how does it come into existence? Intriguing, isn't it? Stay tuned as we unravel the fascinating process behind the creation of cellophane. Cellophane, known for its transparency and versatility, originates from a natural substance. This substance is none other than cellulose, the primary structural component of plant cell walls. Cellulose gives plants their sturdy structure and is most abundant in wood, making trees the primary source of this valuable material. The journey to transform cellulose into cellophane begins with a process known as extraction. In this process, wood pulp is treated with chemicals to isolate the cellulose fibers, creating a substance known as cellulose pulp. This pulp, rich in cellulose, serves as the raw material for cellophane production. But how do we get from cellulose pulp to cellophane, you may ask? Well, that's a fascinating process involving a series of chemical reactions and mechanical treatments, which we'll dive into in the next scene. So, the journey of cellophane begins in our forests, with the humble tree. The process of creating cellophane is a testament to human ingenuity, transforming a humble plant component into a versatile material used in countless applications around the world. Transforming cellulose into cellophane involves a series of fascinating chemical reactions. Now let's dive into the process that takes us from the raw, natural state of cellulose to an intermediate product known as viscose. First, cellulose is treated with an alkali. Alkalis are substances with a pH greater than 7, and they can be found in common items like baking soda or even soap. In this case, we're using sodium hydroxide. This alkali works to break down the cellulose, opening up its structure and making it more receptive to the next step in the process. Once the cellulose has been properly treated, it's time for the second key ingredient, carbon disulfide. This colorless liquid has a rather unique odor, often compared to that of rotten radishes. But don't let it smell fool you. When carbon disulfide is introduced to our alkali-treated cellulose, it initiates a reaction that transforms the cellulose into a new compound called cellulose xanthate. Cellulose xanthate, while still not viscose, is getting closer. It's a yellowish-orange substance and it's soluble in more materials than cellulose thanks to the changes made by the alkali and carbon disulfide. The next step is to dissolve the cellulose xanthate in a dilute solution of sodium hydroxide. This results in a thick, syrupy liquid that we finally know as viscose. This yellow liquid may not look like much, but it's an essential stepping stone on the path to cellophane. Viscose is versatile. It can be formed into films or threads, and it's used in a wide variety of products, from rayon textiles to sausage casings. But we're not finished with it just yet. It's still got a few more transformations to go through before it becomes the cellophane we're familiar with. And there you have it. Cellulose, the abundant natural polymer found in plants, has been transformed through a series of chemical reactions into viscose, a versatile intermediate product. This viscose, though not yet cellophane, marks an important milestone in the creation of our product. Now that we have our viscose, the birth of cellophane is imminent. The viscose, a thick, honey-like substance, is about to undergo a transformative process that will turn it into the clear and versatile material we know as cellophane. The first step of this process involves passing the viscose through an acid bath. This may sound intense, and indeed it is. The acid bath serves to regenerate the cellulose, a key component in the viscose, back into its original state. This results in a smooth, clear film, the first glimpse of our cellophane. However, this newly formed film is not quite ready for prime time just yet. It still contains traces of the acid used in the bath, which would not be ideal for a material often used in food packaging. So, the film is thoroughly washed to remove any residual acid. This washing process is rigorous, ensuring that the final product is safe and non-toxic. Next, the film undergoes a bleaching process. This step is crucial for achieving the crystal clear appearance that cellophane is known for. The bleaching process removes any remaining color from the film, leaving it as transparent as glass. This transparency is a key characteristic of cellophane, allowing consumers to see the products inside the packaging. The final step in the birth of cellophane is drying. This is perhaps the simplest step, but equally important. The film is passed through heated rollers which, and just like that, the transparent, versatile cellophane we know and use is born. 
So that's the journey from tree to cellophane, a process as transparent as the product itself. We've traced the steps from the humble beginnings of cellulose in wood pulp, all the way to the shiny, versatile material we know as cellophane. It all starts with the extraction of wood cellulose, a process that might seem simple but is truly a marvel of modern science. Then comes the transformation where the cellulose is converted into a viscous solution called viscose. This is where the magic happens as the viscose is transformed into a thin, clear film, a process that's just as fascinating as it sounds. The birth of cellophane is a spectacle to behold. The thin film is passed through several stages, including a sulfuric acid bath, washing and finally drying, to create the final product. It's a process that requires precision, patience, and a deep understanding of the science behind it. But the journey doesn't stop there. Every day cellophane plays an essential role in our lives, from packaging our favorite snacks to preserving the freshness of our food, it's a ubiquitous presence that we often take for granted. Next time you see a piece of cellophane, remember the journey it's been through to get to you. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning.